and I also want to first say that establish a quorum. So I'll do a roll call for my fellow commissioners. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Stebbins. Aye. And Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And um, <clears throat> I'd like to call to order today's uh, public meeting number 296 of the Massachusetts Gaming Commission. Uh, we will be conducting this meeting uh, through remote mechanism, given the unprecedented circumstances resulting from the global uh, coronavirus pandemic, Governor Baker did issue an order that allows limited relief from certain provisions of the open meeting law to protect the health and safety of individuals inter interested, excuse me, in attending the public meetings. In keeping with the guidance provided, the commission is now conducting this remotely through this uh, video and audio conference. I'd like to just make a few opening remarks and also to my fellow commissioners, I will give you the opportunity before we go to our um, 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 uh, items on the agenda. I just want to first off remind all folks that <clears throat> operations at the MGC's three casino licensees were temporarily suspended initially on Saturday, March 14th, and that suspension extended out to March 29th. The commission made that decision after extensive and up-to-minute consultation with public health officials and experts, other governmental officials, other large venues, and of course our licensees who, like the commission, prioritize the health and safety of their patrons, their employees, and our employees who worked on site, our MGC gaming agents, the gaming enforcement unit, and of course, GameSense advisors. Since then, the commission has extended the temporary suspension of operations in accordance with the governor's order, orders. This of course continues to be such extraordinarily challenging, complex times. I wish to commend all of the MGC staff, <clears throat> many of whom are meeting today with us, um, and of course, under the leadership of our Interim Executive Director, Karen Wells, for their ongoing commitment to their professional obligations and consistent, meaningful engagement. I'm also really proud of our MGC staff's resilience. These are trying times, and there are many personal challenges they continue to work remotely, staying at home here in Massachusetts, abiding by the advice and orders from our governor to help reduce the reach and rigor of this public health crisis. I have a request from our talented communications director, Elaine Driscoll. She, along with our digital communications coordinator, Austin Bumpus, uh, published this week's MGC newsletter and it includes a series of COVID-19 response initiatives from the MGC and our licensees. All of those <clears throat> updates have since been posted to our website and are available on massgaming.com. If you haven't done so already, you can sign up to receive our newsletters at the bottom of the Mass Gaming homepage. <clears throat> I suspect that joining today's meeting, we do have members of the public as well as members of the media. So we do invite you to go to, again, the Mass Gaming homepage. This week's correspondence included an open letter from me. I appreciated the opportunity to offer our agency's heartfelt thanks to the frontline workers. We all know who they are. To recognize the collaborative and compassionate leadership of our licensees, and again, to commend the internal MGC team for its work and attention in ensuring the continuity of MGC's operational and regulatory duties. <clears throat> in keeping with our commitment to provide the public and our constituents with the latest information, we issued a series of announcements about helpful resources and other related initiatives. I suspect that we will be able to highlight those more in more detail at next week's commission meeting that we have scheduled for uh, next Thursday, but I want to um, highlight these. Uh, the uh, newsletter includes details on operational and workforce status updates from our casino licensees, 
includes a list of resources for casino and racing workers, including details about employee emergency relief funds established by the licensees, among other sources of assistance. We have posted resources to small businesses that serve the casino and horse racing industry, including one-on-one -on -one assistance that MGC established through a recent small business technical assistance grant and other federal and state resources. The newsletter includes MGC and casino licensees community contributions that we're very proud of to COVID-19 response efforts. It includes, of course, our recent glove donation and significant food donations made by the casinos. And for my fellow commissioners, because we don't get to see each other right now, a special note that I've heard that our very own Mary Thurlow, who happens to know, make beautiful quilts, so you all know that, has been selling masks alongside her family members. That doesn't surprise us, does it? Thank you to all who continue to identify ways to contribute to the community during this great time, this time of great need. And then finally, resources to support mental health, wellness, and responsible gaming amid COVID-19 outbreak. It must be very difficult for Mark Vander Linden to not be able to reach out directly to those folks who he knows struggle with, uh, with problem gaming uh, uh, and responsible gaming troubles. And of course, right now, just because our casinos are closed, that doesn't mean that individuals who struggle with these issues aren't continuing to do so. And in fact, we all know that <clears throat> the current challenging circumstances pose a particularly great risk. Mark um, and Teresa will continue to gather and provide helpful resources for those in need. And we invite the public, stakeholders, and of course the media to look at the resources that are available through our newsletter. Again, as a reminder, all of this information is available on our website and Elaine and Austin will be updating them frequently. At this time, I just want to invite each of my fellow commissioners to add any of their thoughts and then we'll move on to the business of the day. <clears throat> I'll start with uh, Commissioner Cameron. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, hello to all my fellow commissioners and the team, as many of our team members who are uh, participating today. Uh, you you, you uh, said that quite well. Chair, and I just wanted to add to everyone, stay safe and reach out if you need anything. Um, and I, I'm proud of the work done by everybody. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner O'Brien. Um, no, I think you did say it quite well. I would say um, I miss seeing everybody as well. Um, I am pleased and proud of how people have been able to adapt to the way we have to execute our responsibilities. Um, and I just wanted to say um, I, as well, stay safe and um, feel free to reach out if anyone needs anything. Thank you. Commissioner Stebbins. Um, good morning and good morning to my colleagues. Um, I also miss seeing everybody. Uh, I do want to place a shout out to the HR department and the open houses that they've been having. It's been a great way for folks across um, the agency and our different locations to have a chance to just kind of reconnect, see how everybody's doing. Um, so uh, if you have some time, feel free to, to dial in, I thank Troop D and her team for organizing those, but the rest of your comments, Madam Chair, we're, uh, we're right on target. Thank you. Commissioner Stebbins, uh, Zuniga, sorry. Um, yes, uh, so, uh, good morning, everybody. Not much to add except uh, that um, join the, the thoughts around uh, of appreciation uh, for everybody, uh, you know, being flexible, um, doing the work that they have to do with uh, the given circumstances, uh, that carries a lot of um, flexibility. We need to continue to react accordingly, and um, I'm happy to see that we are all uh, doing doing so uh, and maintaining good spirits, which is also critical in this uh, in this environment. Thank you. All right, no further comments. We'll move on to our agenda today. Thank you again to uh, Karen for your leadership. We'll ask you to address first um, 
uh, to a on the licensees thank you yes so uh, as everyone is aware the licensees uh, ceased gaming operations as a result of the coronavirus pandemic uh, governor baker did extend his order uh, to close business non-essential businesses and uh, prohibit gatherings of more than 10 people so my recommendation at this point for the commission and their action is that they uh, extend the temporary suspension of operations at those three gaming establishments that was initially instituted on March 14th and extended on March 25th. And my recommendation is that you extend that to parallel the governor's order. So that would be till May 4th at noon. Uh, I would also suggest that the commission, as they have been doing, continue to review and assess the public health conditions uh, in cooperation with appropriate authorities and the gaming licensees, and then come back again at a public meeting prior to May 4th to make a determination about where you want to go from there regarding the operations at the casinos. Other questions for um, uh, Karen, please? I'll start with Ka Commissioner Cameron. Uh, thank you. Again, a very sound recommendation. I know we're all following. Um, it's really a daily um, pandemic to follow and what the uh, governor's office is providing the leadership there. Um, so I think it's a sound recommendation and certainly we should follow suit and um, make sure we extend to May 4th. Okay, Commissioner O'Brien, any questions or comments? Uh, no questions. Uh, I would agree um, doing the extension is not only mandated under the current issues um, from the governor but also the prudent thing to do so um, i'm absolutely in, um, in favor of continuing it to at least as long as the governor has since extended it mm -hmm. okay commissioner uh Zunica? Uh, no questions or comments um chair in agreement thank you commissioner stebbins uh no comments or questions madam chair i'm in agreement do I have a motion? Madam Chair, I move that the Commission extend the temporary suspension of operations at the three gaming establishments initially instituted on March 14th, 2020 and extended on March 25th to go through May 4th, 2020 at noon, consistent with Governor Baker's order issued on March 31st, 2020 and the Commission's statutory obligations. Further move the commission continue to review and assess the public health conditions in cooperation with appropriate authorities and the gaming licensees and make a determination as to the status of operations in advance of May 4th. Second that motion. Thank you. We'll do a roll call vote. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. And Commissioner Stebbins. Uh, aye. Thank you, uh, Chair Votes. Yes, uh, Todd and Shara, that would be 5-0. Thank you. Moving on to um, item 2B, uh, Interim Executive Director Wells. We'll have um, Dr. Lightbound turn to that. Correct, please. Good morning, Alex. How are you? Good morning. Thank you. I'm well. Good. So <laughs> as the uh, commission knows, the uh, three simulcast licensees agreed um, a couple of weeks ago to suspend their operations. Uh, I've been in communication with all three. Um, they're aware of the governor's um, extending of the suspension of non-essential businesses, the 5-4. Um, they agree they're subject to these um, orders and um, they intend to um, continue to abide by it. Um, as we discussed previously, the um, account wagering that goes through uh, Suffolk and Plain Ridge is not on site, so um, that can continue to operate. There are still some thoroughbred tracks in the country that are able to race, and this does bring in some income. So I recommend um, a similar um, to what um, Executive Director Wells suggested um, for the simulcast licensees. And uh, Interim General Counsel Grossman, um, good morning, Todd. Um, at this point, you're you're not seeking a formal vote uh, from um, the commission on this matter, or, or or do you recommend that we need to take that vote? At the moment, with the assent of the operators, I think that's sufficient uh, based upon the governor's order uh, to ensure that those operations remain closed until May fourth. And that's consistent with what we did in the, in the prior um, vote. We, we were right. able to secure 
consensus from all of the operators. Uh, are there any questions for Dr. Lightbound? Uh, Commissioner Cameron. You know, I did discuss this matter with uh, Dr. Lightbound, so I have all that information and I, you know, certainly commend the uh, uh, the simulcast licensees for following suit and understanding how important it is to follow the governor's order. So I, uh, no questions. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. Commissioner O'Brien. No, I don't have any questions. Thank you, Dr. Lefon. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner uh, Stebbins. Uh, I had the chance to catch up with Director Lightbound yesterday. I was somewhat surprised. There are still tracks that are racing, but hopefully everybody is taking appropriate safety measures at those at those tracks. But um, uh, I, I agree with the recommendation. And Commissioner Zuniga? No questions or comments. I need agreement. Excellent. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> At this time, I don't have any other um, business that I haven't um, anticipated. We do look forward to our meeting next week. Um, and then of course, um, as we continue to assess and evaluate the, the um, <clears throat> public health crisis that's keeping our licensees operations suspended, we'll um, be nimble, um, agile, and, and uh, meet accordingly if we have to revisit today's uh, vote. So thank you. Do I have any further questions or comments from any of my fellow commissioners? No. Barring none, thank you. <laughs> I can see no's. Thank you very much. Um, then do I have a motion to adjourn? Move, move to adjourn. Okay, I think I heard from Commissioner Stebbins first. So uh, Commissioner Cameron, that's a second? Yes, it is, second. Thank you. All right, um, we'll do a roll call vote. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. Commissioner Stebbins. Aye. And the chair votes yes. Thank you, everyone, and uh, be safe. Five zero, thank you.